Greetings, beloved light warriors. It's Saratoga, and this is our weekly focus card reading for the week beginning September 27th through October the 3rd, 2021. And if you are new to my channel, I do this every Sunday so we can reset our focus and our energy for the coming week ahead. And then I do my on-camera videos on Tuesdays and Fridays. Okay, let us get into this week's reading with this most wonderful card that um, I've pulled for all of us. So let's take a look at the words on the card first. The card says, forge, don't follow. Pave a new path, be the leader you wish you had. So this is a card about leadership. And um, in case you didn't know, I always put the name of the deck and the author in the description below every one of these videos, but I'm going to mention here that this deck is the Starseed Oracle deck by Rebecca Campbell, and I want to mention Starseed because I think this message is a very powerful message for Starseeds, Lightworkers, Wayshowers, and Awakening Humans. This card is definitely all about leadership. And Boy, is that something we need in the world today. I mean, you know, when you have the kind of chaos and confusion and very upsetting circumstances happening all over the globe, what is needed more than anything else is leadership. So it really, to me, this message is really telling us it really is time for us to step up, fulfill our mission and function as leaders in this planetary situation, which is really the reason that we came here. Now, I want to point out there are different levels of leadership for those of us in this, I'll call it a cosmic position. Some of us may be leading by example. Some of us may just want to hold that vibration, that energy, that peace, that clarity. Like, a, see, a whole lot is communicated through our energy. People pick up on our energy. They are receiving communication just by our presence alone. Now, maybe they don't know how to interpret that, but what they do feel, what you, when you're um, leading by your presence, just leading by example, energetically, what you have an opportunity for is for people to attune to that higher vibration and maybe feel inclined toward it in their own lives. You know, it, because if you're stable, if you're calm, if you are grounded and centered and at a very high frequency of energy and in your heart and exuding love, can you imagine what a profound effect that might have just on the people you encounter every day? Because that makes you a beacon of hope. So that is one level of leadership. And there are, there's such a variety of levels. I don't want to make it sound like anything is better than anything else. I mean, some of us are called to speak publicly, right? If you're called to do that, and maybe you've been hesitating, this is probably the time to step up and do it because, you know, we're never going to be, quote, really ready for anything, right? I mean, who could have ever been ready for this craziness on this planet? I don't think any human being could ever be ready for this insanity, right? So um, I, wa I want to look at, the, I'm going to take a look at the image in a moment, but right now I just want to take a look at the words, forge, don't follow. Now we are conditioned to always be following some outside authority figure, right? We're conditioned for that from the day we're born. From the moment we take our first breath, all of our conditioning is to follow someone in a higher position, in a higher place of authority, and our role as we're told, erroneously so, but as we're told is just follow along, do what we're told, comply and obey, right? So this, this card is saying, forge a new path, pave a new path. Now this could be a new path for yourself, or it could be a new path in the world, or it could be both. And this is one of the things that I think, especially for starseeds, I think we get a little confused sometimes because we have a clear memory of what a beautiful world is like, a beautiful planet, a beautiful environment, and yet we don't see any evidence of that here. So it's so easy to fall into just feeling out of place, feeling lost, feeling like you don't know what to do, you don't know what to say. And um, because, you know, 
I totally know what this is like because, you know, I've had moments in my life where I felt like this, like, oh, I better just, you know, follow along the, the status quo or appear to be following along the status quo because otherwise, you know, you can get in trouble. Um, uh, I've got stories about that. Maybe I'll tell you guys some other time. But um, yeah, it's, it's so compelling to do that, to just feel like you have to follow. But now the whole system that was conditioning us to follow it is being torn to shreds completely, right? So now it's like the veil has parted and now we see what's been behind this system all along, which is really pretty evil looking, right? So that monster, that controlling force isn't telling us to follow anymore. It's just blatantly saying, obey and do what you're told. So this is why this planet and humanity needs something other than just that. Because right now, that is the most prominent thing that people see. They see these crazy evildoers, whatever you want to call them, controllers, I don't know. They see these people as the, quote, leaders on the earth. People need to see a different kind of leadership. They need to see a higher level of leadership. They need to see something that their heart recognizes as a place they too want to be because as human beings, we are all connected. We are all united as one. Okay, so um, the, the other sentence at the bottom of the card, be the leader you wish you had. That's a beautiful statement. I, I, when I read that, I thought that is so cool, you know, because I'm sure all of us have felt maybe throughout our lives or at some point in our lives or another, man, I wish there was somebody I felt comfortable that I could just, you know, follow or not, not in a bad way, but learn from perhaps, or, um, you know, align with or something like that. Just somebody that I really felt I could trust and feel comfortable with. Well, you know, that sentence can really help us to go very deep within each one of us as unique individuals and say, well, what leader would I have liked to have had in my life if I could have chosen the perfect leader for me? And you know what that's gonna do? This is so cool. What that's gonna do is tune you into your unique gifts, what it is that you have to offer. Because see, the universe doesn't create uniformity um, in the sense of compliance, like we see here on earth. So the universe creates diversity because in, in diversity, there is strength, right? So we all come here as very unique individuals. Each one of us has our own special purpose to fulfill. We wouldn't be here if whatever that purpose is, wasn't needed. So, um, so this is really a very powerful message to, you know, it's time. It's time for your leadership. It's time for you to be who you really are on this planet in whatever role that is for you, whether it's by setting an example or whether it's, you know, anything in between that and public speaking or writing or whatever it is, okay, or teaching of some kind. Now, um, I want to... I want to point out these stones that I put here. I was so, as soon as I pulled this card, I was so compelled to get these two stones. The, the white stone that you see is selenite on the right, to the right of the card. And the green stone in, at the base of the card is called dioptase. These two stones were like, boom, right there. Like these are the stones for this message. So let's talk about that for a moment. So what prevents us from fulfilling our role as leaders in our, each one of us in our own unique way. What prevents us from doing that? Well, the only thing that would prevent us from doing that is patterns and beliefs and junk and maybe dysfunctional relationships and you know stuff like that, right? These two stones are so profound to help with that. So let's talk about selenite for a moment. Selenite, um, is wonderful for clearing. You probably know this if you're familiar with crystals and stones. I mean, selenite is a very popular stone. Um, it's an amazing stone for clearing energy. So selenite can actually um, cleanse your auric field. It can clear negativity from the physical body, the etheric body, 
Um, it's also really great for your highest self and your light body to f establish itself in this world, in your physical body. So it's, it's a very powerful stone for many, many reasons and for just clearing out junk, right? All the junk that might be in the way of you manifesting and expressing your leadership in the world. Now let's go to Dioptase. Oh my gosh, I love this stone. This stone, man, I, I, I hope it comes out green in your in the video, whatever you, however you're watching this, because it is the most beautiful shade of emerald green. It is just stunning. It is a stunningly beautiful stone. So let's talk about dioptase. I always think of diopta, dioptase, really, it's not dioptase. Di, my braces never let me say words properly half the time. It's dioptase, okay? And I'll put the names of these stones in the description as well. I always think of dioptase as the relationship stone because it is a very powerful stone for releasing emotional patterns that impact your relationships. Um, this stone is so powerful, it can even clear patterns deep into your genetic code. So um, it can clear stuff, you know, really ancient stuff. Um, it's great to free you from the past. Here's one thing it's really good for that I think totally applies to this. It's really wonderful for removing or transmuting or, you know, clearing your maybe dysfunctional perception about limiting roles that you may feel you have with other people. That directly affects the topic of leadership because so much of leadership has to do with how you see your relationship with other people. So if you have limiting beliefs and you believe that you have a limited role in relationship with other human beings on this earth, that can dramatically impede your ability to express your leadership role on this earth. Um, dioptase is also wonderful for dissolving old discordant energy and cords, you know, cords that you attach you to old, um, maybe family issues, really good for clearing family issues, by the way. Um, I just always think of it as the relationship stone. It's for healing everything around relationships. And as I said, that is so often what needs to be addressed in order to demonstrate a leadership role. Now, a lot of this probably could even come from family situations, you know, because you know, you're with your family from the day you're born and your sense of your identity can be shaped by those interactions and by those circumstances that you are born into that you at the time had no control over, right? So you might still be carrying that false identity around as a filter in terms of how you perceive yourself and how you experience yourself. And, and we could say that that is a false filter. That is not accurate, okay? Because the accurate you, the real you, is something that is known from within. But these false identities that we're conditioned into believing about ourselves, you know, these limiting beliefs like, oh, you know, I, I always fail, or nobody wants to listen to me, or who am I, or I always did bad in school, or people laughed at me when I was little, or, you know, whatever it is, there's so many renditions of this, right? Those beliefs, those um, memories, images, patterns, whatever you want to call them, can very much stand in the way of you stepping fully into your leadership capabilities because, and here's why, because you're gonna look at that stuff and you're gonna say, hey, all my life I thought that was me. That version of me could never lead anybody, right? That might be, this is just a overly simplified version of it, but you kind of get the idea, right? So you, you might believe that version of me could never lead anybody. So, but what if that version of you is false? What if it's not the truth? And then you're banking your life on that false version of you, which is probably a combination of fam family projections, religion, school, society, all that stuff that got wrapped around the real you and suppressed the real you and made you feel like I can't see this false identity doing anything useful on this planet in terms of the dire straits everyone's in here. You see what I'm saying? 
So, you know, this comes down to self-love. This comes down to self-worth. Oftentimes, self-worth is not really about worthiness. Oftentimes, what appears to be a feeling of I'm not worthy is really more about a false identity. It's really more about what I was just describing, the identity that you might have taken on throughout all the experiences and all the unfortunate feedback you got throughout your life, all the things you were told in school, in church, and everywhere else. That, it, the feeling that you're unworthy, is it's not really that you believe you're unworthy, it's more that you're thinking, I don't see how this person that I believed I am all my life could possibly live up to such and such, right? So I just want to help you understand that um, you're, you're perceiving yourself through a filter that was put on you from outside sources. It did not come from within you. So I think that's why I felt so strongly that the message from this card involves clearing, so much clearing and healing of all this relationship emotional junk, right? so that the real you can start to emerge. You can be in touch with that truth of who you really are and why you came here. Now let's look for a moment at the image on the card. And you see toward the bottom right, you see a woman and she has her arms spread open and it's neat, she's wearing white. And I think that indicates, you know, it's, it's sort of an angelic look, right? She looks very angelic and it almost looks like angel wings. Like she's an earth angel. She's going to be an earth angel and she's receiving her role on this planet. But notice where she is. She is positioned in the cosmos. So her reference points for all of her actions and um, whatever she does is a cosmic reference. It's not an earth-based reference. Now, I often refer to this as an extraterrestrial reference point, but we can just call it a cosmic reference point. She's clearly oriented in the cosmos. Now she's looking ahead at this landscape. The landscape is not actually higher than she is. It's just different, right? And I think the fact that this green landscape is positioned um, towards the top of the card really means that her vision for the planet is higher than what we see manifesting here. It's a higher vision. It's a pure vision. And you'll see in that landscape, there's a lot of flowing water. There's a lot of greenery. It's all nature, right? So the flowing water could mean, you know, clearing out or um, things flow easily. Um, it's just, it's, it's different. And that's what we come here with as starseeds, as lightworkers, and many awakening humans who actually are starseeds and lightworkers. Um, we come here with different reference points. And this is so, so important to understand. I think where we get stuck so much of the time and we don't understand our mission, we don't understand our purpose, we don't know why we're here. What gets us stuck is that we continue to try and use what we see happening on planet Earth as our reference point for what our mission is. So this is really key, okay? What's happening on Earth is not the reference point for the leadership that's needed here. It's not, There's, this is not a reference point, you guys. The reference point is what you came here with, what you, that touchstone you have to that higher cosmic self, that you that knows what this planet was really intended to be. So your reference points may not be visible at all on planet Earth. I can tell you for a fact that mine are not. And that's actually what gives me strength. That's what actually gives me clarity. Okay. Now I put, I also put this angelic, this angel statue. This is one of my favorite angel statues. I love this angel. Um, she's so beautiful. And I put her here because, you know, when you are living your purpose, leadership is living your purpose. That's the definition of leadership at a higher level. Um, you are going to have angelic support. You are going to have tremendous support from this universe, from your guides, from your angels, in ways that you cannot be supported when you're just entrenched in an earthly perspective and you just don't want to move. You just, you know, you can't get a lot of support from that position. So think about it this way. If we put all of this together, think about all the clearing of all those artificial 
beliefs and identities and all that stuff, clearing that out. That's what these stones are here to represent. Um, being oriented in your cosmic self, not in your earthly false identity, and stepping forward to show leadership, pave a new path. This planet needs a new path, right? So um, don't be afraid to be the embodiment of what you know in your heart to be true and real and good and beautiful and natural. Don't be afraid to be the embodiment of that because wherever you are on this earth, that self embodied on this planet is what is desperately needed right now. Okay, it's not about ego. It's a, see, here's the other thing. I'll just mention this quickly, then I'll, then I'll stop so I don't go on too long. But um, the ego has no place in any of this. Okay, if this is not about ego, this is not about, oh, I come from a higher place and I'm so much better than everyone else. No, ego, ego's, what do you think about ego? Maybe I should do a whole video on ego. Um, ego will always try to hijack your beautiful true self. It will also always try to hijack, hijack it and turn it into a false, um, you know, overly important person who's better than everyone else. So, you know, just know right from the outset, ego has no part in this, no place in this. When you are who you really are, when you are your true self, the ego is gone, okay? It's just gone. That is the most humble place the most beautiful place of strength and power and light and love that any person on this planet could ever find themselves in. Just being who you really are, being your true authentic self, that's it. That's all you need. Okay, so um, I think that kind of wraps this up. It's really a call for leadership. It's a call for fulfilling our purpose and our mission and why we all came here to this beautiful um, paradise that is Earth. All right, so um, I hope you all enjoyed that reading and um, I look, very much look forward to seeing you in the next video. I'm wishing you a beautiful week ahead, a wonderful day. Um, sending you all so much love. Namaste.